What's up everybody, the Destroyer here, and welcome back to another cast of The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-Earth 2, patch 1.08. Today we have a 1v1 on Fort Devising 2. So, here we go. We have our first player, who is Dwarves, as Do Random. So, we got Random's Dwarves, we have Archangel as Men of the West, he also goes by Otto. And, yeah, so we got Dwarves versus Men of the West on Fort Devising 2. Sweet. So, hopefully this is a good match to watch. We'll see. Looks like random opening with a Hall of Warriors. Got a mine shot there. Off goes his builder. Undoubtedly to make a forward mine somewhere or something like that. Let's see what auto... I'll call him Archangel for the cast though, since his name is Archangel there. We have Archangel going for a farm there. He's going for a forward Rax. So he's building it closer to the, uh, the middle forward there, so he can get troops out across to the dwarf base quicker, I guess. Perhaps. Or perhaps to get closer to these, uh, layers to actually creep. He might go creep the, uh, layer there, possibly. And here's the forward mine from random. Very forward, in fact. Not too far from Archangel's base, in fact. It, it's still a bit of a walk for dwarves, but he's undoubtedly going to use it to creep this forward layer, I'd imagine. He's going for Guardians, though. Oh, he's got Phalanxes already. Never mind. Phalanx, of course, is what you want to creep with a, a War Glare or what have you. Troll Air or War Glare. They do much better against the structures and the creatures that spawn from them. As you see, those Wargs pretty much did nothing to those. Meanwhile, we have Tower Guards being brought across the Ford from Archangel to go creep this War Glare here. And Archangel's actually putting a farm on the Dwarven side of the base. Interesting. Is this for spying purposes or what? Yeah, maybe. Maybe j that, and he could just use the economy space, I guess. I don't know. I guess the dwarves have to choose. Do they want to destroy this or kill the guys who are attacking? It's actually not a bad idea, but at the same time, if you can't pull it off, <laughs> unless you've got enough skill to defend it, I suppose. Now he's going for an attack there. Meanwhile, Random's going for an attack over here. It'll take him a bit to get there. And Random's also going for the troll air over here. He does have a mine shaft there. Now it looks like Orange Angel's taking a mineshaft there. The key mineshaft, of course, for the dwarves. The one where they use to get into their tunnel network. So that's not a deal. The Elven Wood has been thrown down as well, I believe, is 50% uh, armor in this patch. Yes, indeed. And enemies lose their leadership bonus. We have Rally Call for Random, the dwarf player. Look at those Guardians coming out right into the face of the Tower Guards. Of course, the Tower Guards are not going to stand a chance against Guardians, but... He does manage to get the Hall of Warriors. So that does set random back a bit, doesn't it? Having no mine shaft or thing there. That allows Archangel to keep that farm there as well. Let's see how much damage was done over here. I think the farm was taken out over here by these guardians. But other than that, it looks like they're being cleaned up fairly well. And Archangel is moving into cavalry, which he'll have some very shortly. Some Gunner Knights on the field. And random is going for the inn over here in the top right to get some hobbits which of course are very strong range units as long as they're not being hit in the face they are pretty effective so these dwarves are returning home here more dwarves pouring out of the hall of warriors as they're newly constructed and random's getting his racks up again looks like archangel has found this mine shaft over here so he'll begin taking that out while he's expanding his farm presence of course i'd say archangel's definitely doing a good job here being very aggressive, but also expanding and keeping his troop production going. Also is random, though, of course. Random has taken some losses, but he's rebuilt. He's building more troop troops. That's a glitch. <laughs> they went into the mine, but they actually didn't all go into the mine, oddly enough. That was weird. It looks like uh, Gondor Knights are going to clean up these Guardians, probably. With any luck, Archangel can get this Tower Guard away. And he'll begin respawning all his units. Up to level 3, it'd be nice not to lose him for sure. Oh, looks like Archangel's found a juicier target. Hobbits. Absolutely. Didn't actually take too much trample damage though, it seems. And he's continuing to pour Hobbits out of there. While defending his Munchaps over here in the top right. From Men of the West attack. Gondor soldiers being brought in. Looks like these ones got in the, the flank of the Munchaps. They should probably take that one down fairly easily. Looks like these guys are going to assist in that. 
as well. So that'll be taken down, but I'm sure those Gondor knights, or Gondor soldiers rather, will be in a bit of a pickle after that. Gondor knights still alive, quite quite alive. They don't want to mess with these phalanxes though. Looks like one of them got unlucky there. He won't be returning to see his family ever again. Unfortunate. But dwarves gives no shits, of course. We do have a siege works being thrown down by random, who's going to upgrade to level 2 to get battle wagons, undoubtedly. Which should help against this Men of the West soldier spam immensely. So that'll be very effective. Looks like the nice to take that mineshaft there as well. So very nice. He's doing a good job of keeping the mineshafts away from his base, but unfortunately there is a flood of dwarves coming in to the north of his base here. But it looks like he has a couple heroes now. We have a King Theoden and a Boromir on the field. Very nice. Two heroes with an army that is definitely better than the dwarves army, I'd say. Dwarves army is tougher though. Well, maybe not. Guardians are tough, of course, but I mean... A couple heroes with some armies, I think it'd be more tough. Especially since the cavalry can charge with the unopposed. Dwarves aren't very trampleable, though, that's the thing. You do run them over, but they're kind of sturdy, so they don't die very well. And of course, these soldiers are going to die to these guardians very easily. Thunder soldiers are much weaker than Gunder, or guardians. King Theoden helping out, though. He's also providing a 50% damage leadership buff to his soldiers around him, so that's good as well. That's what Theoden does in this patch, in case you were not aware. Since all the heroes have different leadership abilities. As opposed to what I'm used to, which is the global 33% armor and damage thing from Rise of the Witch King 2.02. Nice! Nice little firecracker there by one of the hobbits. Looks like... Yeah, hero can throw a small firecracker. <laughs> Apparently they're fairly effective against buildings. Who would have known? I definitely would have, because I've never even used it before in my life. I think it's only a thing of patch 1.08, the firecracker ability. Definitely a nice addition to the hobbits, though. I don't know if it's too overpowered or not overpowered at all. Couldn't tell you, but it could be just right. Could be a perfect addition. Hard to say. We have a battle wagon out here from a random. Also some guardians and phalanxes moving out. So we'll begin taking some of the farms from Archangel over there. Archangel's little farm here, probably a farm here as well. Looks like he's taking a lot of building casualties. Lots of buildings going down. Frodo's holding his own there as well. He could also use his Bio Galadriel if he wanted to. In fact, he probably should. Because that would scare off the troops. But it looks like he managed to uh, get the farm anyway. The hobbits did their duty. So, that's all you could ask, I guess. Theoden's up to level 2. Of course, once he gets up to level 7, he gets Glory's Charge. Theoden nearby cavalry take only 20% of normal damage. Which is quite useful. So you can go for a trample even on pikes sometimes. Not usually recommend, but you know, it still works. Looks like Archangel is command point capped. Let's actually take a look here. He's at 400 450. Towards are at 460 of 800. So random, definitely a huge advantage in economy. PowerPoint wise, it looks like Archangel has about six power points. He's got Tom Bombadil and Elven Wood. And random has Summon Hobbits, a Rally Call, and about nine power points there. So random is ahead in all fronts, I'd say. He's ahead in power points, he's ahead in economy, and he's ahead in map control, I believe, as well. At the moment, he seems to have more stuff around. Maybe. They might actually be even. Well, they're obviously not even because. Because, <laughs> uh, random has like twice the amount of mind jabs, apparently. But, you know. Archangel has lost a lot lately. I'm sure he'll rebuild and come back strong, no doubt. Or he'll die. Probably not. Archangel's a very good player, so I don't think that's going to happen. I think he'll come back. And this is a bigger replay replay file for a 1v1 replay, so I'm sure it's not going to end anytime soon. So we have that to look forward to, I suppose. Well, I don't know who wins this match, of course. I have no idea. 
Looks like we have a battle wagon here with a hearth on it. Very nice. Battle wagon there with Menadale. Two more battle wagons of Menadale. Oh, they died very quickly. <laughs> very brutal. Oh, Theoden being left in front of some phalanxes and hobbits get slaughtered. Unfortunate. Turn of events. Archangel probably forgot about him. This has got a lot of things going on, no doubt. In comes the battle wagon army. They can at least target the guys without going in. Look, Boromir is up to level 4. He, of course, has the 50% damage leadership buff as well. So he just needs one more level to give that to his troops, which will be very useful for him. The battle wagons go around. I'd imagine the battle wagons will probably be fairly effective for countering these as well. Yeah, they're actually slaughtering these. Four battle wagons take care of Gondor knights very easily. And of course, Gondor soldiers have no chance whatsoever. And any damage they take will be healed up by that hearth. Which is really nice. And he saves that mineshaft. Very nicely done. Those battle wagons are going to be very difficult for uh, Archangel to deal with, I think. Uh, I would say he would need... Rohirrim in maybe, like, Eomer or something? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I have trouble against battle wagons myself, so I don't know. Faramir could be useful? Probably not. I don't think Faramir does enough damage. And of course, you won't be able to catch him anyway, so... Probably not gonna happen. Looks like Archangel has claimed the... inn up in the top here. Of course, the Elven Warriors is the inn unit for, um... Patch 1.08 with the Men of the West. I do like the Elven Warriors quite a bit, actually. They look very cool. It's a very cool model. And we have an Aragorn being brought up from Archangel. Nice choice. So now he's got the aragorn Bormir combo. Very nice. Let's just hope Aragorn doesn't die. So we don't have to hear that Godforsaken song. I don't want to. <laughs> the Aragorn death song needs to die. And be, and be put to rest, definitely. We have a glory note for random. Very nice. Glory's army is looking fairly tough as well. Axe throwers, guardians, phalanxes, and hobbits. He's got all the bases covered, doesn't he? All he needs is some men of Dale and like a battle wagon. Well, he's got battle wagons, actually. What am I saying? Speaking of which, where are the battle wagons? Can battle wagons go into tunnels in this patch? I don't actually know. Patch 2.02, they were taken. Oh, uh, the ability was taken away. Prize the Witch King to go into there, so the Men of Dale on the battle wagon would not fire from the mine shaft. It was a bug. So I'm not sure if that was fixed or changed for this patch either. Could still possibly be a bug, or it could have been fixed. Couldn't tell you. As I do not play the patch myself per se. Well, not per se at all. <laughs> I've never played it in my life. I played a skirmish once. I think. Still a cool patch, I must admit. And in we have a Do Not Nine Ranger Summon. Of course, they do come with long shots as well. All these Rangers battalions. So you get four long shots from this summon, which is very useful. And of course, they're great archers. Cleaning up those Guardians and Phalanxes easily. Especially with that leadership buff as well. Looks like Aragorn and Boromir have leadership. So they get 25% damage, 25% armor, and earn 50% faster experience from uh, Aragorn. So I'm assuming they get the 25% armor from him and the 50% experience, and then they get the 50% damage from Boromir. I think they just take whichever one's higher. Pretty sure that's how it works. So we have Hobbits summoned behind the lines of Archangel's army here. We can kill off as many guys as he can. Taking out the rangers very quickly. Although the rangers are actually making a killing here. Tom Bombadil being summoned in by Archangel. Took care of a lot of dwarves there. Did very nicely. Aragorn Bormir leveling up on some mines. Very nice. Taking them out as they go. Wow. He's up to level 6. Aragorn's up to level 4. He does have his Blade Master, of course. He gets Elendil at level 6, which is a fear ability. Very useful. Got a couple battle wagons just chilling here in the middle. And Glory is leading an attack on the south, looks like. 
Trying to defend his mind. Nice slam there. Send some guys flying. Gotta love going slam. What I really love is Glowing Shatter Hammer, though. I would love to see a level 10 Glowing in this game. But who knows if it will go that long. It very well might, very well might not. That's a lot of dwarves, though. So Archangel's definitely going to need to react. He's going to need more men in the south, I think. He's going to probably need to bring his heroes down south as well. He's going to stop this, possibly. Does he? I mean, he has a couple towers on his fort that will definitely help. He's got a few tower guards here. Of course, Tower Guard's not going to hold very long against Guardians, especially when they have the uh, charge as well. Level 6 Battle Wagon, very nice. Wait, they go past level 5? Say what? Is that a thing? Apparently that's a thing. There's the Horn of Gondor, very nice. And now everyone's going to have an absolute field day. Look at him go! Holy shit. He's cleaving his way through those Axors with his Blade Master ability. That is insane. I didn't realize it gave him that much AoE. That's really nice. 100% damage, 50 percent armor as well. Makes him an absolute savage. Archangel throwing down the Elven Wood as well for the defense. Warmir's up to level 8. He's tanking the damage quite nicely. And the Dwarven army is crushed. Although there's another one on the way, and a Gimli is leading that one. In this patch, it looks like Gimli still has leadership as well. 50% armor. So, that is a thing as well. 50% armor on dwarves is pretty big, as you would expect. Ah, oh, Glorin tried to get away. Didn't quite. Didn't even make it to the river, unfortunately. His allies are so close. But sadly, he did not make it. Of course, we do have the trees sprouting all around the fort, which is always a curious sight to see. I have no idea whether that's a thing. <laughs> but it's a thing. I think the Siege Works was taken out at some point and he had to rebuild it over here. He's upgrading it to level 3 though, it looks like. Possibly going for right, upgrades for the dwarves. He gets catapults at level 2, so yeah. The only reason you would go for level 3 is upgrades. Unless you want faster build speed, I guess. And your catapults of demolishers. Probably not though. I'd imagine he's going to go for the armor and weapons upgrades or possibly siege hammers or something, you know? Something useful. So he's continuing to raid with hobbits being built from the inn up here. Hobbits can be a real nuisance, as you've seen. Yeah. Level 6, level 7 battle wagons. So battle wagons go up to level 10. That's interesting. I wasn't aware of that. I'm guessing that's patch specific. Specific? Did I say that? <laughs> I may have said it wrong. Who knows? Anyway, we have another scuffle between Dwarves and the Men of the West here. Gimli is continuing to level up on Archangel's farms. There is the Undermine, sending all the Men of the West troops flying. There's also some Dwarves in there if he wants to pull them out. Might have been a good idea. Maybe not. Everyone's going to get rid of this real quick though. There he goes. wonder who'd win in this patch, Aragorn or Gimli with their Slayer. And, uh, Blade Master ability. What does Slayer do in this patch? Gains double damage and double speed. I honestly don't know which one's better. Double damage or 100% damage. I mean, is it 100% damage, 100% more damage, which is double anyway? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at math, so who cares? Looks like the Middle East are going to have to retreat here. A lot of Phalanxes and Axlors being brought in the southern ford. Could be able to take that farm out very well. Very easily. Let's see PowerPoint stuff. We have 876 of a thousand dwarves command points used. Apparently he just used Earthquake. We just got the tail end of it. <laughs> there you go. That's just going to shut down our change a little bit. Of course some Phalanx is being brought up to the ford as well. If he doesn't take care of those phalanxes, he will lose his fortress. So this is a really bad thing for Archangel, but of course he has that. He has Undermine, which is new as well. I think he has heal now. I don't think he had that last time. Two power points. Archangel has Earth Earthquake as well, actually. He's got June Nine Allies, Tom Bombadil, and Elven Wood. 3 or 4 to 6, 550 now. Archangel's definitely not in the best position. 
it's gotta be said. Dwarves are putting a lot of pressure on him. I'm gonna leave it on Archangel's view though for a moment so we can see when he uses his earthquake. He's probably not gonna sit on it too long, but of course he wants to defend his base, as you would expect. Before he goes off and just uses it. This might be a prime target though. He has this encircled his fortress in buildings. It might do enough. The dwarves do have upgrades though. That's gonna be painful. He doesn't have the Mithril Mail, but he does have the Forged Blades. The Forged Blades, of course, will cut through the Men of the West troops very easily. Looks like Archangel has managed to save his fort, though. So, nicely played there, of course. Alright, well. He could use it at any time, really, so I'm not going to say it on his camera forever. Towards the upgrade of the armor on his fort. I'm guessing he would have guessed his opponent would be having an earthquake by now, at some point. Better safe than sorry. This might even live through an earthquake, I'm not sure. It is level 3. But we'll see. I'm sure he'll use it on the base at some point. Pulling cleaned up whatever was there. And now a lot of pink is moving in on the green base there. This could be bad. Tom Baldwin will be summoned in though. It's going to probably take care of those axe at least. At least chase them off. This could be it for Archangel. Oh shit, I think Gimli just died. Boromir and Aragorn might be enough to actually save the fort, surprisingly enough. Aragorn with his Blade Master's huge cleave ability. Boromir with his Horn of Gondor, of course. Oh man, this is brutal. It's getting close. I think Archangel will be okay, though. He hasn't used an Earthquake on his opponent yet. Not yet. Actually, looks like Arching, or Random has actually upgraded to Siege Kegs. Or not Siege Kegs, Oil Casks. Just in case there's an attack on his base, I guess. That would have dealt with it quite nicely, unless it was just a Heroes. Oil Cask deals with uh, troops very, fairly well, though. Oh, nice. We have Dwarven Riches now. For Random, which raises a Mineshaft to 300%. Which is crazy good. So now he's making how much off that? 72 a tick off that one mine shaft. That's pretty nice. Team pretty nice indeed. Shoes. And he's at 1,000 command point limit. Archangel's at 300 max. Archangel is such such a bad spot in comparison to the dwarves. But well, he's putting up one hell of a fight, I gotta admit. This is not a good matchup here. <laughs> Battle wings are gonna absolutely tear these apart. And of course, they'll just heal up whatever tiny bit of damage those Dunedine Rangers did. Then comes another attack on the base. I think this might be enough. I guess we'll see if they have what it takes to defend again. He does have his Horn of Gondor ready again. If Aragorn gets level 10, he will have both breakers. That will make a huge difference. Of course, Gloin cannot fight Boromir and Aragorn. Looks like Boromir does have a knockdown still in this patch. He managed to knock down Boromir, or Gloin there. Oh shit, he's level 10! There it is. Very nice. Summons a battalion of those breakers, which is absolutely devastating. They seem to last a fair decent long time as well. Do they look different? Are they on horses? These oath breakers are on horses. That's different, isn't it? That's cool. So he summons Cavalry Oathbreakers. That's very interesting. I'm pretty sure that normally he doesn't do that. So that's a pretty neat feature, I suppose. Men of the West Fortress is rebuilding now. I can't select it, but I know it is because I can hear it. There it is. It's about up to Half-Life again. He does have a Summon Tower as well. The Lone Tower, which I believe provides healing and leadership with Fortress upgrades. That's actually a pretty cool feature for that one. It looks like Archangel has used his Earthquake as a defensive measure. I don't know if that was worth it. It didn't actually kill anything. <laughs> so actually, that was a complete waste. They tanked that like bosses. Because they have Gimli's leadership, and they're all also buffed, I believe. No, they're not buffed, but they do have armor, I think. No, they don't. I'm talking up my ass, I have no idea. 
<laughs> They're just tanky, right? I'm surprised he hasn't gone for armor yet, though. He's got plenty of time. I'm sure he has plenty of money as well to do so. He could get fully upgraded dwarves with ease, I would imagine. But I guess he doesn't feel he needs to. Fair enough. But things are definitely being... or have been hard for Archangel for the past 10 to 15 minutes. I don't know how long. Archangel, uh... Random Space hasn't really been attacked at all. Obviously, things are being attacked down here a little bit. Looks like he managed to kill the troll. But, of course, Random still owns most of the land. He's going for an attack on his base again. Looks like the Lone Tower is dead now. The well is going to follow soon after. Unfortunately, his Gunder Soldier is not going to have time to heal up. And Gimli and his army will hold for now. These two heroes are making it impossible for the dwarves, though. Boromir and Aragorn are just monsters. And here we go. Gimli the Slayer. There's Aragorn. Well, he's running away. I'm assuming he's a bit scared. <laughs> of course, uh, Aragorn has Ethelus as well, which is extremely useful. But Gimli against an army with Aragorn and Boromir are probably not the best. Even if Slayer is active or not. It doesn't increase his armor either, so he still takes the damage. Even if he does get the damage boost and the speed boost. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. Looks like his Gloin is up to level 6 now. So Random's getting there. If Random can get a level 10 Gloin, he can actually deal with the Oathbreakers as well. If he summons Oathbreakers, he can use his Shatter Hammer and then it'll kill him. Which is quite useful. At least I would assume. It's the same in this patch. Because it does magic damage and then the Oathbreakers die to magic damage. Looks like that farm's gonna, or that mine chest's gonna be taken out there. Can we retreat into the north? The fortress still stands somehow. Battle wagon's still out and about. And we have more axe swords being brought in with phalanxes. And this is something I still notice every game I see, is no one ever builds a catapult. Just one catapult. Sit it here, fire at the fort. <laughs> while his army is engaged. It is something that annoys me a little bit, that people, the better players, don't tend to build catapults, which doesn't, it's mind-boggling. When it clearly could have been a good idea to do so. At least one. Because he's having trouble hitting this fort. If he could just keep a catapult safe while he shoots the fort, he'd be fine. Easier said than done, though, of course. Tom Bombadil body slamming Aragorn to the ground there. Or Gimli, rather. Allowing Aragorn and Boromir to kill him. Oh! They get knocked off the map by an undermine. <laughs> sure they'll come back in, though, right? The tower guards are just poking at whoever's outside. I didn't see Gimli come back. Either Gimli's dead, or Gimli ain't coming back. <laughs> Anyway, Dwarf's coming in with a full-on force here. I think Random might have what it takes to take down the fortress now. He might have enough axe throwers. Although the Rohirrim summon might be enough to stop them. Oh, it's going to be close. Damn close. I think he'll manage to save it. The Rohirrim are cutting through these axe throwers like butter. Like a knife through butter. And Aragorn, of course... His Blade Master is just saving grace for the men of the West here. He's putting up such a good defense. But really, I don't see how Archangel could ever win this match. He's just absolutely outclassed here by the dwarves. Look how many mines he has, it's crazy. Let's take a look at economy. He's spending his money fairly well. I mean, he's sitting on 1300, but that's not that much if you think about it. There he goes, spends it all. Take, doesn't take long to spend it all. He's up to 20 power points. So he still has to get a 15, I believe, to get another uh, another 25 or something, possibly. And Archangel is nowhere near his uh, Army of the Dead. Is it 11 of 25 power points? He's getting there. Slowly but surely. We do have a King Dane on the field now. King Dane's leadership is 25% damage, 25% armor. 
and 50% experience faster, which is the same as Aragorn's, of course. So any king, I guess, has a <laughs> a kingly leadership. Eh? Well, except for Theoden, I guess. But King Theoden's not a real king. Let's be honest; he's garbage. Oh shit, that's not good. Is that gonna be enough to actually take the fort? Oh god, it's so close. There's a sliver of health left, and the dwarves can't manage to get to the fort because of the Dune Knight summoned and the heroes. Unfortunate. Well, he's at least gonna shut down the economy of Archangel. And there, ah, I guess I was wrong. Oh shit, it comes with a mighty catapult on top. He should fire the mighty catapult at the fort. Would it be enough? The Phalanx will bring some order. I don't know. It might. The call for battle cannot be ignored. Doesn't look like he's deciding to fire it though. If he was going to, he would have definitely wanted to do it before it started Gather repairing. Now that it's repairing, probably not going to be as effective. Uh, I guess he does have two 15s, doesn't he? Never mind. <laughs> I did. I always forget the dwarves. Which ones are not? There's the army of the dead once again. Oh my goodness. Absolute slaughter. But the fortress does fall. Ah, that's unfortunate. Archangel without a fortress has no chance here. <laughs> it looks like they just glide around. I guess not. Their legs move. Well, that's going to set Archangel back a bit, isn't it? it looks like we're in a lost battle wagon there. Looks like it matters at this point, though. I think this will be GG very shortly. <laughs> Archangel has maybe one farm, two farms. Yeah, Archangel has two farms. He's surrounded. Entirely surrounded. But he went down fighting. I'll give him that. Definitely shows he's a good player, but... This was definitely not a good match for him, I would say, in the end. <laughs> the Dwarves random, of course, did very well, keeping his opponents on a low economy, expanding, sending troops at him. The Battle Wagons did pretty well. I'd say random definitely made some good choices here, which led to his victory. But yeah. So we'll just wait for the players to clean each other up here. I think this is all that Archangel has left. Nope. Apparently he's building a, building a barracks in the corner. I mean, he's still got his heroes. These heroes, you gotta, you gotta admit, they've been champs. Boromir and Aragorn, the heroes of the Men of the West. Crazy. Unfortunately, he's nowhere near Oathbreakers. So he just wants to kill Gloin. <laughs> I don't blame him for that. If Boromir can even hit him, he'll knock him down and Aragorn will finish him off, no doubt. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> this would go well with some Benny Hill music. Oh, no. He doesn't have Blademaster right now. Ooh, nice slam. Sends Boromir absolutely flying. Has he found his last building? He's not even looking for it. He just wants to kill his heroes. That's fair enough. <laughs> what a ridiculous ending. Dwarves are never going to catch them, of course. No, oh, there's stumpy little legs. Well, maybe if they run into an army. You can always Elendil. It's an option. He'll have Blade Master back soon enough, and then you can just turn around and start cutting them down. There's the good escape tactic. <laughs> Unless King Dane was there, of course, he would stop that from happening. With his fear resist. There's the Men of the West Builder. Looks like Random has spotted it. Oh, isn't it turned into a barracks? I'm sure he'll deal with that fairly quickly. Still has that one. Oh my god, come on, just kill him already. He's toying with his prey. He's playing with his food. He knows where his last building is. 
We all do. But he wants these heroes dead. There goes the Ethelus. Not gonna happen quite yet. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. <laughs> a little bit here and there, because I don't know who knows how long they were chasing. Alright, well, it looks like it ended. Alright, there you go. Looks like Random has taken that victory there. That was a nice little 1v1. Definitely. It was a bit one sided towards mid game, I'd say. But definitely uh, well fought by both players, I would say, though. So, hopefully, that was an enjoyable cast to watch, and I will see you guys in the next cast of Patch 1.8 of The Battle for Middle Earth 2. See you all next time.